What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And today we'll be talking about the top five exotic weapons you should try to unlock before the Lightfall expansion releases on February 28th. Now, honestly, my first tip would be to just unlock as many exotics as possible. In Destiny, there's always patches and changes and new gear being added. So you really never know what weapon will truly shine or when. Or you might even find a new favorite weapon just by trying out some exotic you got in a random drop. However, the five exotics I have for you today are a good mix of what could be very strong, at least in the first season of Lightfall, as well as some weapons that are just flat out fun and you'll have a great time using them to run through the new campaign or various seasonal activities of the new expansion. And lastly, before we get into this, if you guys could leave a like and also be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future Destiny 2 videos. So the first exotic up is going to be the Wither Horde. No matter how many nerfs this weapon gets, it will always be an S tier exotic, but in Lightfall, it's actually getting a buff. Bungie has stated that kinetic weapons using special ammo will be getting a 1.15 damage multiplier up from its previous 1.05 multiplier. So you'll be getting more damage on a weapon that already dominates in both PvE and PvP. <laughs> and trust me, when you try this grenade launcher out in PvP, you might not want to use anything else ever again. Overall, it's a blast and it's a really, really solid exotic. Plus it looks badass, so that always helps. The Wither Horde can be purchased at the tower via the Monument to Lost Light, so it's not too hard to unlock. And then when you actually get the catalyst for it, it automatically reloads when stored for a short period of time. Fantastic weapon. Would highly recommend this one. Even if it wasn't getting the kinetic buffs, I'd always recommend getting the Wither Horde. Next exotic up, let's go with a fun one, and that's going to be the Two-Tailed Fox. That's right. Remember this rocket launcher? I know this might seem incredibly random and almost like a flashy, what are you talking about right now? But hear me out. What's cool about this exotic launcher is that it's actually going to be getting a catalyst with the new season. And so for those of you that don't know, the Two-Tailed Fox intrinsic perk is Twin Tails, which shoots two rockets, one void, and one solar that track the target. Furthermore, its perk Play With Your Prey makes it so that the void rocket suppresses enemies while the solar rocket causes damage over time. But this rocket is actually getting a new catalyst and Bungie says the trifecta will now be complete. So on the trifecta, it already has solar, it already has void, so we can assume that it's gonna be arc. So now the two-tailed fox will be firing three rockets, all doing that matching subclasses verb. So we'll fire a suppressed void rocket, a scorching solar rocket, and an arc rocket that I'm assuming will either blind or jolt targets. Either way, really cool. I know I'm going to be looking for this catalyst when Lightfall drops, and I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be running around with two-tailed fox with the catalyst, and it's going to be absolutely awesome to see it everywhere. But unfortunately, if you do not have this weapon in your vault, it's going to be a random exotic engram drop, or Zer might be selling it, so check with him in the weeks leading up to Lightfall. But based on what I'm seeing, you're going to need the Forsaken DLC to use it, so keep that in mind. But if you can get the two-tailed fox before Lightfall, Definitely, definitely get it. Now let's take a step back into the meta world and talk about the big winner of the new Lightfall patch, the Anarchy, the exotic heavy grenade launcher. The intrinsic trait for this is Arc Traps, which is grenades stick to surfaces and chain arc bolts to other mines. A really fun exotic to use already and will definitely be cool to see again, especially in some arc builds. But the reason everybody's talking about it and why it's going to be so good in Lightfall is because Bungie has announced in their patch notes that heavy grenade launchers are getting massive buffs across the board for both PvE and PvP. They're increasing damage versus versus champions and bosses by 20% and miners by a whole 40%. So just straight up way more damage against all enemy types, which is insane. They're making heavy grenade launchers easier to hit targets with improved collision and increasing that blast radius. I can see a lot of people running anarchy when this patch hits and I have a feeling bosses will absolutely melt from this thing, especially if it's like an arc burn nightfall or something like that they're gonna stand no chance especially if an entire fire team of like three is running this thing oh my goodness man before lightfall you're definitely gonna want to pick this one up and it can be grabbed right from the monument to lost lights at the tower so now moving into our next weapon, it's going to be the Leviathan's Breath Exotic Bow, which in itself is a fairly strong exotic with its intrinsic trait being Big Game Hunter. Fires a massive heavy bolt that stuns unshielded combatants and it's strong against unstoppable champions. Now Bungie did say it was going to be a bit easier to deal with unstoppable and barrier champions in the upcoming expansion because there's just going to be way more ways to deal with them. However, Leviathan's Breath is actually getting a buff, which will now be applying Volatile on Perfect Draw and have a 30% straight up damage increase versus champions. So this is very fitting to be back into a solid weapon to bring into like the higher tier difficulty content once again. Also for any PVPers out there, Leviathan's Breath will now one hit kill all supers in PVP, which is a nice added bonus. And also it's very simple to acquire this. All you have to do is go to the monuments of the lost lights at the tower and it's available for purchase. And the final weapon that we're gonna be talking about today is actually one of my all time favorite weapons in Destiny. Even if it wasn't getting a buff next season or anything like that, I would still always always recommend it. It's always a great choice to have in your heavy slot, whether you're in PVE or PVP. 
and that is the Thunderlord. And yes, you heard me right, it's actually getting a buff. So it's gonna be even better, which kind of blows my mind because every time I'm using this thing, I'm like, this has to be one of the best weapons in the game, right? Especially with that catalyst, which is gonna return ammo from the reserves. So you're never gonna have to reload. But Bungie had a lot to say about machine guns in the upcoming patch, mostly for PVP, but the buff will kind of bleed over into PVE. And that is that there is a straight up 10% damage increase to machine guns. Furthermore, reserve ammo is getting a quote unquote substantial increase. So you get more damage, more rounds. And with the Thunderlord, that makes it for an immediate must-have weapon. And seriously, I, I kind of said it with the Wither Horde, but once you use the Thunderlord, you're really not going to want to use any other exotics. It's so good. Now, Thunderlord can be acquired through a random exotic engram drop, or you might want to check in with Xur in the next few weekends leading up to Lightfall. There's a chance that he will be selling it. So best of luck with that. I hope you guys get it because, man, you have to have the Thunderlord. But that actually wraps up our five exotics to unlock before Lightfall. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments, which exotics would you recommend people get? Would be a ton of fun to see the weapons you guys have been using and which ones will be impacted by all the buffs coming to Destiny 2 in the next month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.